This video builds on part one, which focuses on the importance of attending to the reference hole. In this video, we will learn how to relate two fractions of the same whole and the importance of common denominator. So this is the problem. The green rectangle represents four-fifths of a whole piece of paper. So the task is to draw a blue rectangle to represent two-thirds of the whole piece of paper. Now, we need to draw two-thirds of the whole. But how large is the hole? Since we already have four fifths, all we need is one more fifth, right? So if we add that one fifth, now we have the whole piece of paper. Essentially, four fifth plus one fifth is equals to five fifth, and that's one hole. Now, how can we get two thirds of the whole piece of paper? by cutting the hole into three equal parts and shade two of the three parts. So now we have two thirds. So the challenge is, how is the blue rectangle related to the green rectangle? The blue rectangle is what fraction of the green rectangle? Both rectangles are referring to the same hole, right? But each hole has parts that are of different sizes. So what can we do? What we want is to make both of the whole have the same size. But how can we do that? Make both of them as the same number of parts, right? So what we could do is to split each fifth into three equal pieces and then split each third into five equal pieces. Now, we, each hole will have 15 equal pieces. Now, isn't it much easier to compare now? So let's recap. The blue rectangles have two-thirds of the whole paper, which is equivalent to 10 15 of the whole paper. Whereas the green rectangle is 4 fifths of the whole paper, equivalently, it's 12 15 of the whole paper. So now, we are essentially trying to relate 10 15 of the whole paper with 12 15 of the whole paper. In the other word, 10 15 is what fractions of 12 15? So how can you determine that? So what fractions can you multiply with 12 to get 10? So we can multiply 10 12, right? So that means 10 15 of the whole paper is actually equals to 10 12 times 12 15 of the whole paper. Now we can simplify 10 12 to 5 6. So therefore, the answer is 5 6. The blue rectangle is 5 6 of the green rectangle. So hopefully, in this video, you appreciate the importance of finding common denominators to relate two fractions which have different denominators.